that we've done it at a fraction of even the cost of uh, Hollywood movies, even uh, perhaps lesser budget than some of the big budget Bollywood movies. And that's what makes it so special that scientists have, you know, managed to develop. Of course, there's been cooperation with different countries over the years, over the decades on various aspects. But the point is, at the end of the day, it is an Indian program, uh, whether it is a lander, whether it is the rover. We have perfected this. And of course, with the aid of technology, being able to softly land on the lunar surface, a massive achievement in that sense, isn't it? Kartike Sarabhai. Absolutely. And uh, and I think for young people, uh, this is certainly a moment of joy. We might not see the Gaganyan and all the things which will follow. I'm just sitting next to my granddaughter who is uh, doing her, her lesson. And I'm just looking at her and thinking, what will she see when when she grows up? And where will we be now? And it's it's certainly a marvelous moment to to rejoice. And for every every child like her, uh, to be able to see that we can do this. And Vikram Bhai's dream was to, to have science available to everyone. He formed the Community Science Center, saw, saw ISRO as a way of delivering education to the remotest parts of India. So he's, he's, this is a part of nation building. And, and this success uh, marks something which, which, which is a pride to all of us. Mm. And, and it's truly a great moment to share. Uh, uh, thank you for, for that. Well, absolutely. And in fact, we have to thank ISRO for that. But one last question, Dr. Sarabhai. You know, there's so much more that's coming up in the future. There's a manned mission. There's talk of a moon treaty under the aegis of the United Nations. All of this gives a huge impetus to the Indian space program and India's role in that particular space program. When we're talking about the tradition of the great spacefaring nations of the world, India now has truly and surely arrived. And India has shown that it has a space mission which is not a standalone one. It's a mission which is connected intimately with the development of this country, the pride of this country, and, and the future of this country, and therefore the future of developing countries as a whole. So, so the Indian space, unlike some of the other ones, which are more technological and trying to get there fast, India has, has, has done it, as you said earlier, in a cost-effective way, in its own way, but in a way which is deeply connected to, to our own needs and the needs of developing countries. So again, congratulations to, to, to ISRO and to everyone, everyone there. It's a very proud moment for all of us.